Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today in this video, we'll review SkyDragon OS for OnePlus 3 and 3T devices, which is an amazing Pi ROM known for its battery life, performance, and customization. So without further ado, let's dive inside the ROM. So this will be the first look of your ROM. Let me show you the software information by going to Settings, System, About Phone, and here you can see Android version is Android 9.0. Security patch is October 5th, 2018. And the kernel on this ROM is Holy Dragon, which is an amazing kernel for battery and performance. I've been using this ROM since almost 4 to 5 days and everything is working fine like volt services, portable hotspot, Bluetooth and alert slider. And all these things are personally tested by me. By default we get AOSP camera but if you guys want to install Google camera then I'll leave a link in the description below. You can download from there and install it. So I've already installed it and in which portrait mode is working fine with front and back camera. ROM also comes with applications like Spectrum which is a simple kernel manager to get battery life and if you are also looking for good gaming then you can choose the profile from here. So it consists of 4 profiles, balance, performance, battery and gaming mode. Along with Spectrum we also get Holy Dragon kernel mode which can help you in advanced tweaking of CPU. GPU, thermal and few other customizations like screen, wake up, sound, battery and other stuff. And it is highly recommended do not change the default settings until and unless you have knowledge about the same and both spectrum and holy dragon kernel tweak will require root access so to use that you need to flash magisk after installing the ROM. Phone application have call recording option and native calling feature so you can record calls and make video calls directly from the phone application itself without downloading any third party application. So now let's take a look at the settings and the customization options available. So inside the settings panel you have a dragon den where you can find all the customizations related to style, gesture, lock screen, navigation bar, notification, power menu, quick settings, status bar, weather, miscellaneous and device feature. Under style you can customize the theme of your device as per your requirement so here you have few options to change essence color, primary color and notification. Gestures consist of AOSP gestures, navigation gestures and you can also use screen of power torch. Status bar also have lots of options to customize where you can change the status bar items, double tap to sleep, battery icon can be changed, you can also enable weather on your status bar. Under device feature, we have few OnePlus features available like screen of gestures, swap of hardware keys, vibrator strength can be changed, you can also customize the notification slider and then we have few graphic options like RGB mode, high brightness mode, soft color and white color gamut mode. ROM also includes always on display which can be found under display settings and from here you can enable always on display and new notification wake up. Digital well-being is also available so you can get the complete usage of your device on the daily basis and which all apps you have used. As of now ROM does not include OTA updates so might be these things would be added in the further builds. So guys these were the features and the customization options available on this ROM. Talking about battery life, the first cycle which I got after installing this ROM was 3 hours and 20 minutes in which I had also played around half an hour to 45 minutes of PUBG and which is pretty decent for such an old device. Now talking about the performance part, so after installing this ROM I tried playing PUBG and guys trust me the performance was really great. And there were very less lags noticed comparing to the Oxygen OS. And here is the gameplay of PUBG.
Now let me show you the benchmark results with Geekbench application and Antutu Bench application. With Geekbench application, single course code 1683, wherein multi course code 3634. With Antutu Benchmark application, device code 155644. And I would give 4.7 out of 5 considering battery backup and performance of this ROM. Since feature like OTA update is still missing, let's hope we get that feature very soon. So guys that's it in today's video, if you find this video helpful then do give me a thumbs up and also subscribe the channel if you are new to this channel. See you guys soon in the next video.